So I was talking to a guy the other day, he wasn't a handyman, but he was in a different profession where he has to do a lot of public speaking and a lot of training. And he was saying something that I think would be familiar to a lot of guys that are listening to this, uh, listening to this video, because it was pretty familiar for me, uh, is how to overcome imposter syndrome. So one thing that he has to do in his business is he has to do public speaking and training. And he, he constantly felt when he first started out that like when he was teaching all these people, he felt like they were just sitting there judging him because they knew a little bit about their industry. Uh, they didn't know as much as him, but they knew a little bit about their industry and they, some of them knew what they were talking about. So he, he said it was really hard to overcome that thought of like imposter syndrome. Like when I'm teaching these people, are they just in their mind thinking that I'm just completely stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about? And I think that probably you can probably relate with this because I know I, I did. Uh, when I first started out in this business, it's very hard when you're going to someone's house let's take a, a 60, 60 year old man, right? Who has worked his whole life. Maybe he you know, worked in the sheet metal industry or something like that. And he's retired um, and he doesn't wanna do this work anymore. But he hires you to come to his house and do the actual work. Well, it, you know, it can be a little bit you know, worrisome when you're doing the work and he knows a lot about what you're actually doing. And it kind of feels like maybe he's judging you in a sense uh, during, during the whole time you're working there. Um, now, most of the time, this is just a thought. This is all in our own head. This is called imposter syndrome. When we do not feel like we are capable uh, of doing the task that we've been hired to do or that we've been asked to do. We might have some, you know, some codependency inside of us, something that's telling us, hey, we're not good enough to do this, or the person that we're teaching or the person that we're talking to might actually know a little bit more than what we do. So I thought it'd be interesting to talk about that imposter syndrome, what that is, and how to overcome it. Uh, specifically in your handyman uh, industry. So I know that there's been many, many occasions where I've been, you know, called out by a client. I've been, you know, kind of felt that way when they're kind of hovering over you when you're doing the work. Um, and none of it's fun. You know, I think the biggest thing that we need to know and we need to understand to overcome this imposter syndrome is to understand that we don't know it all. And there, in fact, are people out there in this world that know more than we do about a specific subject. And we need to be okay with taking constructive criticism, constructive feedback on those specific occasions. I've been at people's houses where I've been asked to do a task and I've went ahead, I, I don't know exact examples, but I went ahead to start doing it the way that I was gonna do it. And the client's like, hey, have you ever thought about doing it this way or attacking it from this angle? And you know, part of your ego wants to be like, ah, I got this, I'm the, I'm the trained professional. But in reality, the, the honest thing to do would be to take that feedback and actually apply it and be like, hmm, maybe that's an interesting way. Um, I do, one idea just came to my head or one, one example is I was at a client's house and he wanted me, this was like when I first started out, so maybe I was doing this thing for like two months, he wanted me to replace the uh, expansion strips in his driveway. So I don't know about where you're located, but here in California, some driveways, uh, it's kind of a fancier, kind of an aesthetic thing is they put an expansion piece of wood strip down in the driveway uh, to kind of add some character to the driveway. And also it, it allows for expansion and contraction of all the stuff and whatever. So all of his were rotten out. They were there for like 20, 25 years, so they were rotten. So he's like, hey, can you replace the expansion strip in my driveway? There was like, this was a big house. So he had one running this way, probably like 30 feet, and then he had many running down this way and uh, or maybe two running this way 30 feet but whatever there was a lot of expansion strip and i i'm like man dude i don't think i could do that like i've never done that i don't even know you know like i mean i could start prying them up but i have no clue what it looks like i have no clue how they're held in so there's a lot of like unknown to that so i'm like eh, i don't know if i should tackle that well he's like you know i'd love to help you out on that if that's okay and part of me was like you know i'm the business owner like i shouldn't require help from the homeowner but i'm like okay, let's, let's give it a shot, right? So me and him sat down. He didn't know, you know what it was gonna look like either, but he was okay like prying it up and trying to come up with an idea. So we ended up like brainstorming together and coming up with an idea to replace these, uh, to replace these expansion wood strips. And we did, and it actually turned out really cool. Uh, there were a few hiccups along the way, but at the end of the day, this client was super helpful. I actually made a YouTube video with the client. Um, it's back when I first started, so I don't even know if I could find it. I don't even remember what it's called, but I basically interviewed him and we talked. And I think in the video, we actually talked about the expansion strips and we showed them and stuff like that. So it was kind of a cool deal, but 
At the end of the day, to overcome imposter syndrome, remember that there are other people that know more about a specific subject than you do, but on the other, the flip side of that is you need to understand what you do know. Understand what you do know, understand what you don't know. It's very important to understand those things. And when someone hires you to do a specific job, come in with that authority that, hey, this person hired me to do this job. Maybe they know how to do this job, but they don't have the time to do it, um, and they have the resources to hire you to do it. So they're going to hire you as the professional to come in and do it. So you can be confident in the fact that for whatever reason, they can't or they don't want to do this specific job, and they are hiring you as the professional handyman to come in and do the work. So you can stand or you can rest assured in the fact that they are relying on you. They're calling you as the professional and you need to be confident in the work that you can do. So you need to be confident in the work you can do, but also understand that there's work that you don't do and work that you don't necessarily know how to do and be confident and be honest with the client about the work that you do not know how to do because that will build trust and honesty and integrity within the work and your uh, connection with the client. I remember one specific job is a client uh, wanted me to uh, patch some uh, patch some concrete in his driveway where the plumbers had come in, they chipped it out, and, and they installed a new clean out in his driveway, and they left about a two foot by three foot section of basically no concrete. So he's like, hey, can you fill that in? And I've shared this story before. I even have a video on it. I'll try and find that and link it up here. But um, I told him, like, I've never done concrete like this. I've done concrete for fence posts and stuff like that, but never in a driveway. So... This is what it would cost, you know, and I, I went to the Handyman Journey Mastermind group, I asked a bunch of questions, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and I told them, I'm like, well, this is what it would cost for me to do it, but know that I've never done it before, and if you don't want me to do it, that's completely fine. Um, and at the end of the day, he's like, yeah, let's give it, give it a shot. And it actually turned out well. There was a few things that I, you know, probably should have done differently, but, you know, at the end of the day, it turned out well. The client was happy, and he paid me, and he understood that that was my first time doing it. Um, so just being honest about what you can do and what you cannot do will really help break this imposter syndrome. And then it's really just a, a time thing too. As you continue going, 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 going and doing this work on a daily basis, you're gonna start uh, learning and building more confidence in yourself and your business. And that's really what it takes. Time cures all of that. Um, so there's no like, you know, okay, tomorrow you're not gonna have imposter syndrome anymore because there's still times when I have imposter syndrome. I mean, now I run a coaching program where I'm actually coaching other handymen and at times I feel like an imposter in that, right? But I have to understand that I am who I am and I've created the thing that I've created and I have some authority to talk on this specific subject. But on the other hand, there are other people that I'm training that know a whole lot more about a specific subject than I know about that specific subject. So there's always something to learn. There's something you can learn from every single person, but be confident in the fact that you do know stuff and you do know the stuff that people hire you to teach or do the work on their homes. Friends, this has been day 84 of my 100 day video challenge. If you are brand new to this challenge, welcome. Uh, this challenge is basically started September 1st and I'm going for 100 business days uh, making a handyman business YouTube video here on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you are brand new to this, go back to day one. We've covered so much stuff from marketing to pricing to sales, all kinds of stuff, great information. I would love to have you along. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and drop me a comment in the comment section below with what your thoughts are, and we will catch you guys tomorrow for day 85.